everybody welcome back to the channel well today we're going to continue the department 56 2023 releases for the halloween and fall season and today we're going to take a closer look at the mickey's pumpkin town pieces this is another one of my collections that i absolutely love wasn't sure about it at first but then once i started looking at it all the orange and this is the festive colors i i had to have it and then i'm hooked uh, on this particular set. So we're gonna take a look today at two, actually three pieces. Uh, the first one we're gonna jump into right now is um, Mickey's Pumpkin Town Carving Studio and Mini Picks a Winner, which is the coordinating accessory that goes with that piece. So with that, let's jump in and take a much closer look. Okay, as always, here's a picture of the box. These boxes, unlike the uh, Department 56 Snow Village Halloween has not changed really this year. They look about the same. I do like the the Mickey and Minnie down at the bottom, how they look scared and terrified because it's fall or Halloween, which is kind of funny. But this is a really, really cool piece that will fit well into your Pumpkin Town Village. So with that, let's take a look. If you were to buy this piece new, uh, for the release, it is a little spendy on the spendy side. This would cost you $175 for this particular piece. It's not, not huge, but it is well done. It's obviously licensed by Disney, so uh, you know it's going to be well done. The paint job on it is magnificent, and it just looks really, really cool. And then the coordinating accessory piece, which would set you back 42 additional dollars is called Mini Picks a Winner. And we'll examine both of these in a lot better detail. So for now, let's take Mini out of the way and let's focus on uh, the Pumpkin Town Carving Studio. So this is very reminiscent of a one of my all-time fall pieces, and that is Jack's Pumpkin Carving Studio. I don't know if you are familiar with that. If, you, if you're if you not, I know some of you will be for sure. Um, some of you probably have it in your collection like I do. It was a highly sought after piece for me. It was incredibly hard to find, but it's one of the most nostalgic, cool fall harvest displays uh, that I have in my collection. And this reminds me of that uh, only for Pumpkin Town, right? So this is supposed to be a pumpkin building, as you can see, and it's got the stem uh, extruding there from the roof. Uh, the whole little building is a pumpkin with it almost like a barn type roof on it and a little overhang with a, a front door that basically says it's open and it's got three little pumpkins sitting in the window. There's pumpkins all around the, the side there with a little fence. Uh, and it says Mickey's Pumpkin Carving Studio. So this is where Mickey and his friends are going to do their pumpkin carving for the fall and Halloween season. And you can see the the really almost trademark Mickey pumpkin uh, head above the door. You'll find this at least in Disneyland every fall as part of their uh, major park renovation for Halloween and, and for the fall season. Uh, sitting right in the front, uh, right as you start walking down Main Street. Huge pumpkin. It looks just like this. And, and you can also get that huge pumpkin uh, rendered in Department 56 scale. And that came out a couple of years or so ago with Pumpkin Town initial release. And so the, the piece itself is quite detailed. The paint on this one, unlike some of the others that we've looked at this season, is quite really actually it's very well done there's no major uh, issues that I can see on any piece here it's just incredibly well done it's a, it looks really good the shingles you can kind of see how they look and I know it's a little hard to zoom in uh, and stay in focus but then as you come down to the the ground and the flowers and the pumpkins and just uh, I say flowers but the little orange uh, miniature pumpkins on the top of that sign everything is just really well painted. It's, it's very well painted. If you look at the back of the the building, there's a small little door uh, where the light cord comes out and uh, three little steps to get up and down. Again, everything looks really well painted. The stem looks really good. The, um, the green leaves and vines coming off the stem looks really good. No major issues at all on this paint job. Uh, you can see that the sign obviously is everything is painted. There's no there's no real stickers here on this one that I can tell, other than maybe the 
Mickey's Pumpkin Carving Studio, but if it is, it's pretty well done. Then on this side, you've got a little uh, metal fence that kind of uh, you know, fences in the side yard there with a couple more little pumpkins. And then a tree that you can spread out uh, as you see fit for the uh, for displaying however you'd like to do this. And then the side of the, the building is no different than you saw on the other side. I do like how they've modeled the rocks. We're seeing that quite a bit this year. And I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at some of the older stuff to see if it was modeled back then as well, but uh, I'm not real sure. It looks good this year though, that's for sure. And then on the windows, you can see the little flower baskets underneath the windows. Two windows are open uh, where you can see the light coming out. The other two are just simply painted yellow, which obviously goes really well with the orange. And then you've got the, the themed Mickey heads above each window on each side. And that's really about it for this particular building. It's very quaint, it's very well painted, it's very unique in just the way that it looks and it'll go great if you like this Pumpkin Town collection. This comes with a power cord with just a normal screw-in type C7 bulb, so uh, obviously it comes with a non-LED type bulb, so uh, you can change this out to any uh, type of bulb that you'd like. You can go orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, what have you, or you can just simply leave it white. I think changing the color may change the way this looks, uh, perhaps even for uh, for the better, who knows. I haven't done that yet, but that's certainly something that would be easy uh, to do and see how it looks. Okay, so the coordinating accessory, this is uh, obviously they've had a display contest and, and uh, many gets to decide who is the winner so you can see again this piece is incredibly well detailed now the the, the pumpkin house itself is a ceramic porcelain type uh, construction this is a resin piece it doesn't really say that it doesn't say it on the box at least that I can see but you can just tell by the way it feels it is a resin piece and you can also tell by the uh, the the flat type paint job and just the way it looks it, it's remarkably done I mean, I don't know if you're able to see the details uh, that I'm showing here on the camera, but it's just a very well done, very colorful, very vibrant, well painted piece. Uh, you can't go wrong with it, quite honestly. And so you see Mickey there with a bow in her hair. She's got a number one ribbon and she's going to place that number one ribbon either on Mickey or on Donald, which is pretty funny considering that, you know, Mickey Mouse kind of goes with Minnie Mouse. Uh, kind of like peas and carrots, as um, Forrest Gump would say. Or cocaine and waffles, if you like uh, uh, Ricky Bobby. Either one of those works. And so if you look at this, you can see Minnie is getting ready to pin the number one prize more than likely on Mickey Mouse, I would guess. But it kind of leaves us wondering. Uh, and then it says the pumpkin carving contest there on that Bella Hay with the two perfectly carved pumpkins sitting there to be uh, enjoyed. The detail, even on the hay bell, is off the charts. It's just really good, it's really well painted. You can almost see individual strands of hay. If you look close enough, the paint is really well done. You've got a couple more of those rocks. Mini is completely painted. I mean, just really, really uh, a good job on the paint there. I'm trying to get a better picture of her face and just, I mean, just everything about her is just really, really well done. Her shoes, the whole outfit is just really good. And then as we turn this around to the to the back side, you can see that there's no nothing missed on the back of any of this either. It's just really, really well done. And then when you put these all together and you can imagine them either in a vignette of some sort or um, you know, in your bigger pumpkin town village, they're going to fit perfectly. It's going to look good. These are really, uh, this is a really good set, honest to goodness. I know it's a little on the spendy side, um, but in this case, at least I'm not complaining about paint and, and all the other stuff. It's really, really, really well done. Uh, and again, I don't know if that's because it's, it's, uh, it's marketed by Disney and they're very careful in, in, in what they allow and the licensing process, probably because Disney would not want something coming out from anybody that misrepresented the, the kind of the look they're going for. So that's probably the biggest part of it right there. Uh, but all in all, I'm very pleased with this. I think it looks great. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna display all this stuff. I'm kind of running out of room, but I am glad that I've got it in my collection. 
Okay, well, there you have a much closer look at uh, Mickey's Pumpkin Town, the Carving Studio, and the Coordinating Accessory Mini Pixel Winner. Two really cool pieces that will just send your Pumpkin Town collection uh, to a whole new level, at least in my opinion. This is a really good, really good uh, setup here. I like the similarities between Mickey's Pumpkin Town Carving Studio and Jack's Pumpkin Carving Studio from the Snow Village Department 56 Fall and Harvest release. Two really cool pieces. If you have one, you may want the other just to have a sort of a similarity um, a matching set that, that aren't matching completely, but you kind of get the idea. One transfers easily to the other. You can see the resemblance there, which I like. I like that quite a bit. Also, I had the opportunity uh, last year, I think, to meet Paul Lundberg, who works for Department 56. He is the artist that designs all of the Mickey's Pumpkin Town stuff. He's a really incredibly nice human being, just as, as friendly as anybody that you would meet. Uh, he, it, it's kind of cool to see him and, and, and know that he is designing all this stuff in his, in his mind and putting it on paper and then designing it and building the prototype that is going to go out and we're all going to receive if we choose to buy it in the coming year or so. He was able to sign a couple of my Pumpkin Town pieces, which is just really, really cool. I'm glad that absolutely those are in my, uh, in my collection. That's another reason that if you're collecting this stuff and if you've got a local Hallmark, uh, especially like a platinum retailer like we have here in Phoenix, or if you've got a, a location nearby where they sell this stuff occasionally, quite often, honestly, these artists, all of them will travel around the country to, to meet folks that they're selling this stuff to and sign pieces and things like that. So I, I would encourage you to take advantage of that if you haven't done so already. And if you have, leave comments of what your favorite signed piece is and by who. Uh, that would be interesting for us to take a look at and read and, and quite honestly see how popular it is for having things that you enjoy to be signed by the artist who created them. I think it's pretty cool, quite honestly. So, hey, with that, like always, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It certainly helps the channel to grow. It helps me personally, and it keeps me motivated to keep throwing out videos just like the one you saw. So with that, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again real soon.